بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In Arabic, we have some signs. These signs tell us whether a noun, whether a sum is feminine or not. If any noun has either of these signs, then it is called feminine. If it does not have any of these signs, then it is masculine. So these signs are written here. First sign is biological female. Any noun which is biological female, it is considered as feminine. Then any noun which has tam or vota is considered as feminine. Then alim maksura, alim mamduda. Then the name of countries and cities is usually considered as feminine then those body parts which are in pair are all considered as feminine so you will learn all these things in this chapter inshallah Faz adana can you hear me Fawzadana Khatija No Read this Okay, chapter 3 The masculine and the feminine gender El Muzakaru Wel Muwanef There are only two genders in Arabic The masculine and the feminine There is no neutral gender The masculine gender El Muzakaru Nouns are assumed to be masculine if they fall into one of the following categories. The words masculine by meaning, e.g. Rajulun man, Weladun boy, Ibanun son, son, Arosun bridegroom, etc. B. The nouns which do not end in feminine suffixes, e.g. Sheriun street, Abaytun house, Kosiun chair, Kitabun book. Um, so the feminine gender the signs which tell us whether a noun is masculine or not okay what are these two signs Pardon? here you learn the two points two signs which tell you whether a noun is masculine or not so what are these two signs it's masculine um by its nature it mean biological male okay biological yeah yeah it had yeah. blending um and then the other one doesn't have a feminine ending Yes, yeah, feminine ending. So now you will learn the feminine endings. Next student is Khatija Abdul Qadir. Assalamu Wa alaikum wa salam. Start from here. Feminine gender, Mu'annas. This word may fall in several categories. Noun feminine by meaning even if they do not fall, conform to the feminine form. Example, Maryam, Zainab, her is menstrual woman, menstruating woman, her means pregnant woman, a root bride. Nouns ending in the feminine suffix Tamar Buta is the visual ending. Gurfa, Rum, Alibatun, Masculine, Sa'a, Love, Fatima, Fatima, Mishkatun, Lam, Mu'allimatun, Female Teacher. What are the two signs that you learned here so far? The Tamar Buta. Yes. Biological feedback. Yes. Yeah, but not into female, so these nouns and any noun which has tam or buta will be feminine. 
So these are the two signs which are not here. We have many more. Now and and the sound is too low. <coughs> now ending in Alif Maksuro. No, no, ma. Hosna Sugro Salma. You know what is Ali Maksura? Yes. What is Ali Maksura? Ali Maksura, that yaw. Yes, this type of yaw does yes. not have dot and is mm, pronounced as right. Alif mm. is called Alif Maksura. Mm -hmm. Any word which has Ali Maksura is now considered as feminine in Arabic. Next. Now and then. In Alif Maksura. Alif e Mamduda. Okay, Alif Mamduda. Eji. Hasnau. Sahrau. Zahrau. There are three basic feminine endings. That Marbuta. That, that Ta Marbuta. Alif Maksura. And Alif Mamduda. Apart from the apart from the above mentioned category categories, there are some now which are family in accordance with with usage use usage. There are two as muannas sama sama yun sama yun. They are include the following nouns. The name of servants, cities, countries, and tribes. 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 Tribes, yes. Makka, a city. Pakistan, a country. Misro, Egypt, a country. Kuraishu, Kuraish, a tribe. tribe. So you mm -hmm. need to remember all this, okay? And okay. these words will be feminine. Next student is Sana. Is your internet working today? Not working again. So, Mr. Anas. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wassalam. Read this. Those parts of the body which are in pairs. Ainun, ay, rijlun, lag, qadamun, foot, hudunun, ear, etc. Some elements of nature. Samaun, sky, ardun, ground, earth. Shamsun, sun, rihun, wind. Miscellaneous. Below is a list of other nouns which are also feminine. Example, harb, war, khamrun, wine, fulkun, ship, sakarun, one of the name of the hell, names of the hell, sikinun, knife, darun, house, ankabut, spider, ainun, spring, narun, fire. Some nouns are used as both masculine and feminine. Example, baladun, country, nafsun, soul, ruhun, spirit, halun, condition, sukun, market, sabilun, tariqun, path, isba'un, finger. Some masculine nouns also end in the feminine suffix tamarbuta. However, they are masculine by meaning. Khalifa, caliph. Alama, scholar, da'ya, preacher, Muawiya, masculine, masculine name. If anyone has any question, they can ask me now. Yeah, about the ones being um, both um, 
feminine and plural, a fe mm -hmm. feminine and masculine. Um, will they will they show the Tamabut or something, or just keep that form? They keep up the form. Does not change. Does not change. Okay, just no. have a There's one more thing. For example, here you have learned the signs, different thing. But uh, that rule is not much practice. For example, the word Sayara. Sayara mean car. Sayara. According to the rule, this word is considered as feminine because of this Tamaruta. But according to another grammar rule, we can also consider it masculine. We can also consider it feminine. It is up to us because in reality, this word is neither masculine neither feminine. It is a non-living thing. So we can consider it as masculine. We can consider it as feminine. But that word is really practiced. Usually, if you uh, use this word as a masculine word, the teacher will cross it most of the cases. So you better not use that word. Okay. What is the twist? Now we have the pause. This thing is simple. What we need Whenever we stop at Tamar Buta, it is pronounced as Ha, like this word. When I stop here, I will pronounce Ibna. I will not say Ibna Tun, but I will say Ibna Malika Hasana. When we stop at Tamar Buta, we pronounce it as a Ha. Aisha Ka Ima. But if I read it in a sentence, then we better read the vowel also. Aisha Tu. Kaima. So here Aisha is in the middle of sentence, so I am reading the vowel, but Kaima at the end of sentence, I am stopping. So ta become ha. Aisha tu kaima. This is the thing that you will learn here. Short note. Next student is Muhammad Samba Usman Ambalo. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum uh, pause al wakfu when we pause on any noun ending in the feminine su suffix tamar buddha the ta is read as ha uh, aisha aisha to qaima aisha to qaima aisha is standing hence uh, if we pause at Ima. It will be uh, ko ima to it will be read it will be read ko ima. How to make masculine in how to make masculine into feminine nouns and adjectives examples. Um Ibn to daughter Ibnu. Ibnu plus Tamar Ibnatun or Ibna. Okay. Mm. Malikun king plus Tamar Buddha, it becomes Malika, the queen, the queen. Hasanun, handsome, plus Tamar Buddha, Hasa, Hasana, it becomes beautiful. So this rule, this happens to most of the masculine noun. When we add Tamar Buddha, they become feminine. But in some, of course, it doesn't happen to all. So there's an explanatory note also. Read it. Explanatory note. Ordinary masculine words may be made feminine by affixing a tamar buddha at the end of each word, as may be seen in the above examples. If the masculine word is on the pattern of alo, 
afalo the feminine counterpart is one of the pattern fala example abiyadu bayda white ahmaru hamra red asmaru samra of witish completion araju arja what Lame. is the difference between abiyadu ah. and bayda ahmaru and hamra what is the difference uh, abiyad and bayad is asmaru araju are masculine are used for, for masculine nouns yeah. and bayda hamra mm -hmm. are used for muannas asma okay okay all so right yeah. these one aktaru asfaru aswadu will be used for muzakkar asma and these words mm -hmm. will be used for muannas asma remember the difference mm -hmm. masculine color is on the right. pattern of afalu and feminine counterpart is on the pattern of fala u You read it. Ah, 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 daro. Khadra, green. Asfar, safra, yellow. Aswadu, sauda, black. Azraq, zauqa, blue. Ahmaq, hamqa. I'm beside. I have, I have so whatever we have learned here, they have written here in the form of rules, simple rules. Mr. Ahmad. Mr. Ahmad, are you available? <laughs> Mr. Ahmad. <coughs> Arli Shadi Ibrahim, are you available? Yeah, Assalamu Alaikum. I'm listening, sir. Okay. Read the rule number four. This is a revision of the lesson. Nothing else. Okay. There are two kinds of nouns with respect to gender. One masculine, ma Mudakkar, a a now masculine is gender or without any feminine suffix. Two feminine, muannas. There are many kinds of feminine nouns, e.g., nouns feminine in gender, nouns made feminine by attaching a feminine suffix to it, like alif mamduda, alif maksuro, and Marbuto and nouns which are feminine by usage. As I says, one make the following masculine words feminine. Make them. If anyone has any question, sir? if anybody has any question, they can ask me. Okay, concerning this, sir. Wait a minute, Mr. Richard Ibrahim. Nobody has any questions. So next we have exercise number one. In this exercise, yes. Wa alaikum salam. Yes. What is Alif Mamduda? Alif Mamduda. Good. We have learned it in the lesson. And can any student explain what is Alif Mamduda? Sir, I joined late. Maybe. Okay, no problem. I missed. So we'll tell again. So this word, any word which has Alif Hamza at the end is we we say it has Alif Hamduda. We will learn Alif Hamduda in detail, inshallah, later. But at the moment, just remember this type of Ya is called Alif Maksura, and this type of Alif which has Fatah before it, which has Fatah before it, and after it, we have Hamza is called Alif Mamduda. Okay, you can remember okay. the pattern of Fatah Alif Hamza. Fata Ali from there at the moment. Okay. 
Ali Famza. Okay. Fata Ali Famza. So here in this question, he is asking us to make these non feminine, which is very simple. You will just add ta marbuta to each of them and they will become feminine. Like nahifa will become nahifa tun, radiyatun, kasiratun, muhandisatun, ibnatun, rabiyatun, mustaikizatun, kafiratun. So just you need to add ta marbuta to each of them, which is easy. Important thing is you need to write the meaning of all these words which are available at the end of the chapter or you can also use dictionary or whatever you want so you need to write the meaning of all these words exercise number two make the nouns and adjective in the sentences below feminine by adding tam or buta to each word here is asking us to make these Asma feminine by adding tamar buta to each word. He's asked, Look, here he's asking me to make all of you memorize all this vocabulary, which is a lot of vocabulary, but if you memorize it, it will be good for you. So, again. Mm, making these sentences feminine is not an issue at all. He will just add tamar buta and they will become feminine. Al waladu yakiyatun, al jaddu maridatun, al maliku ad, al malikat, al ibnatu yakiyatun, al jaddatu maridatun, al malikatu adilatun. I am reading the tamar buta, but when you read it, you will say al mudiratu shadida. Al Tabiba to Mahira Al Kafira to Kaziva. Like this, you will make them feminine. But also, you will translate them. The important thing is translation. So, you write their translation as well. Then, fill in the blanks using the masculine word given in the bracket after making them feminine. So masculine words are written here. You will make them feminine and then you will write them in the blank. So abhyadu is on the pattern of afalu. Any word which is on the pattern of afalu, its feminine is made on the pattern of palau. So here we better practice this question. Mr. Jibreel Salahuddin. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Make these words feminine and complete the blanks. Al shims, al shimsu, um, safara o. Al shimsu safara o. Okay. Okay. Al shimsu safara o. Al muallimat tu mujtadi muj mujtahida 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 bismillah mujtahida al ardu al aynu oh sorry al aynu um safa and I and I and I know so where Saud 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 El Ardu El Ardu Hada 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 Ra O Hada Ra Hada Ra Okay El Samau Asma'u Zarah Zarah Zaka'u 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 Doing very well here 
Baiba are we next? Um, El Zahra to El Zahra to um, Han Hammer 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 El Hadi Tatu Hudra Hadra Hadra. Next student is Khatija. No, no. Next student is Rahma. Al Alukura Alukura Satu by Do Mela Good Asa Atu Zahabi Zahabiya 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 Ali Yadu By by do by marry atu roja. This word is on the pattern of afalu, so its feminine will be on the pattern of fala. So araja araja. Roja Al Guru Fatu Nazifa Anti Bakstanija Ali Hodimatu Safaro Samuro Samuro. Read the sentence and the dividing of what we know as a in the form of being written. So here you need to put any appropriate noun or any appropriate adjective in these blanks. Al Mandra Satu Kabira, the school is big. At the moment, if you don't know the meaning of any word, you can ask me. But you need to use any adjective in it as well. So the next student is Uzwana. Al Mathafu Vasyun. Al Mathafu Vasyun, okay. Al Masjidu Jamilun. Al Al Bustanu. What is that house? Al Bustan in garden. Garden. Okay. Al Bustanu. Jamilun again. Jamilun. Okay. Al Bustanu. You said Jamil. Jamilun. Next. Al Hidaru. What is Al Jidaru. It is G. Al Jidaru. Walls. Al Jidaru. Kaviyun. Kaviyun. Okay. Al Jidaru. Kaviyun. Al Harisu. What is that? Al Harisu. Security guard. Watchman. Al what is that? Ar Haris means security guard. It also security means watchman, bodyguard. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Al Harisu uh, Tavilun. Tavilun, okay. Asharyu. Asharyu. Uh, what to say for road? Acharyu. Sir, what is wide? Wide mean Ariz. Acharyu Arizun. Arizun, okay. Arizun. Arizun. Next. 
المكتبو المكتبو مكتب المكتبو المكتبو جديد دافيز يا اي واز ثينكينج اوف سم نيو ادجيكتيف اوكي نو فور المكتبو جديد اوكي نيكست ستودنت از نيكست ستودنت از محمد سام عثمان امبالو جميل نو use some vocabulary some adjective here to fill these blanks you can take help from dictionary as well to find the okay. meaning of new word <clears throat> state why the underlined nouns in the following pronouns verses are feminine they forgot to underline the words i will ask you and you will tell me the reason why the word is feminine Okay, so in this uh, they are using hazihi for sabili. This means sabili is considered as feminine. Can anyone tell me why this word is feminine? Because of alif maksura. It does not have alif maksura. It has simple ya. Yeah. But yeah. tell you, huh? okay, ya. Yeah. It has ya, yeah, not alif maksura. Mm. It has dots. So this word sabili, sometimes used for masculine when? and sometimes used for feminine. So in okay. this feminine. ayah, Allah has used it as feminine. So we don't have any reason specific for this. Is you can just write monas samai here. So in the reason you would write monas samai. Then in the next one, we have the word balada. So here we have seen that we are using tamar muta also with balad. As you know now that sometimes it is used for masculine and sometimes it is used for feminine. So we can say that these nouns are feminine because of tamar muta. In the reason you write because of tamar muta, these nouns are feminine. Or so you can just write tamar muta. Then fiha ainun jaria here. We see that the word "ain" is considered as feminine because we are using feminine adjective. So, in the reason so it is implied, it is monus yes. samai. Monus samai. Reasons are written on the previous pages. You can use that. Then, in the next 
sometimes you see feminine verb is used for herb so you can also say it is monus samai here they have written most of the example for monus my which not good in the exercise in madina book is better because they have mixed the exercises then here art you know that it is considered as feminine you can also call it monus samai here misr is feminine word you know names of countries are usually considered as feminine so you can say monus samai then bakara bakara is feminine because it is biological female why it is biological female <clears throat> or you can also write that it has tamar muta then here the word khamar is feminine you can also call it monus samai then sama is also monus samai umma is feminine because of tamar muta like this you write you can skip this question at the moment it will be difficult for you if you do it good but it will be an optional question for you then this is the vocabulary it will be good for you if you memorize the vocabulary so if you memorize it then first write these words on a notebook and then close the book and then write their plural and their meaning without looking at the book so try to memorize them the more you memorize the vocabulary the more good for you to speak arabic to learn arabic completely you need to memorize 5000 arabic words so you better do it next time inshallah we'll start arab if anyone has any question they can ask me now if you don't have any question so inshallah we'll continue next time ma salam ma salam ma salam